Um, I don't know how, like, Joker's an honorary member of Team Fundies. Half the time he's Team Fundies. He gets, like, he like he pays his membership dues so people <laughs> tolerate him, but uh, they don't like him that much. <laughs> what I'm expecting from this match is a lot of Joker playing around Lucina's floatiness. Oh, yeah. Right? Lucina, mostly an aerial-based character, big weakness, a little floaty, right? And so you're jumping, but you're committing to your jump a lot. And Joker, the perfect type of character to capitalize on commitment like that. And so far, we're seeing Arsenic getting an early lead here, 70%. And I like talking about this. I think for Joker, when you're a base Joker, all you're really trying to do is do like 70, 80, 90 damage, and then activate Arsene, and he's going to do this. Well, you know what? Might not even need Arsene for this stock. 99 oh, yeah. already. That meter's starting to build, though, and I 100% I agree with what you said about Joker's game plan in this match. It is going to be catch landings. Parry the following aerials if you can, because it'll give you that little bit yeah. of extra frame advantage, but it doesn't even really matter. All you gotta do is wait for Lucina to jump oh and then stop God. her from touching the ground, and she's never gonna touch the ground on that stock again, because that back air is more than meaty enough to do the stock in. That's exactly what I said. Do you like 80, 90? And then Arsene does the rest. And so, looking at it that way, the the Arsene goal might for get base you to Joker. Yeah, here. exactly. And then you need another one. You're 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 halfway there. Okay. A Ooh. B, nice. I like that. Gets the disjoint on that oh. to cool her down again. Talking about juggles here. Magic is just not landing the reverse on the up B to get the back air there as well. And Magic Dude. rolls into the up smash. That's a hard read and a half. That was such a cool sequence too. You talked about the reverse up B to turn mm -hmm. you around to set up for the back air, then catching the landing, the roll in up smash. Like that was just, that was poetry Beautiful. in motion by Arsenic. And he is already on the verge of winning game number one as a result. And a nice edge He's guard alive. there. This is not in the cards here. Yeah, Arsenic barely surviving that. Yeah, I, I thought for sure that the, the rising Nair offstage would have been the stock at that percent, but <gasps> I guess no rage means no stock, and it might mean three stock here. Arsene is out to play. Magic's got to find a way back on stage. Gets nearly caught by the fair one drag yeah. down, but does get the chance to play the game a little bit longer. That same rule coming out. Magic gets away with murder and finds the stock. But this is looking like a tall mountain to climb. 89 on Lucina already and counting. Look at that fourth throw. Nice A land. Good reversal there, too. And the ro Joker's rolls <laughs> so are big. so huge. Yeah. Four till comes out, 120. Oh, what a chase into the corner. Arsenic just has Magic's number, Gets the back calls air. out the jump and everything. That was just such a beautiful like F throw. You're gonna uh, you're gonna hard landing. You're not gonna tech. Yep. Then you're gonna roll back into the corner because you're scared of me and you want to be as far away from me as possible. So I'm just gonna follow you. Great ground speed that Joker has at his disposal. It's gonna be an easy grab. Set up the ledge situation and bada bing, bada boom. That's game one. Really was like clockwork, right? Um, just one step ahead at all twists and turns. Arsenic looking very solid on the Joker. And like you said, that Arsene wasn't just like killing the first uh, stock. It was halfway digging into the second one, too. And at that point, you're just so far behind, especially as a character like Lucina, Ooh. who isn't the best like comeback type of character. But we might not see the Lucina mm. going into game number two. We do Min -min. see a character swap off into Min Min, a decently difficult matchup for Joker if Magic's got it like that. We'll have to see if he does. Um, but like even at the end of the day, even though it's a, like a, not a great matchup, Joker still does fine into Min Min, especially if you're not uh, not zoning and walling him out like Min Min can. Yeah. So far, this has been way too CQC for Min Min's liking. Yep. We immediately see Magic just running into the center and just playing from there. These high approaches from Arsenic, we're going to see a lot of that. And I like Magic. He's ready for it. Oh. And finds oh. the Mega Walk to boot. Great sequence, just turning that vertical situation into a more horizontal one, outranging and finishing immediately. Oh my goodness. Arsenic answering back with that chase offstage. Both of these players playing to their character strengths so well. 30 Ooh. seconds in, both stocks gone, one from each player. That's how you know we're going to have a volatile oh. game. Tries Vivid to catch him going low. Oh. Uh, oh. Arsene might be bad here. Yeah, that okay, could have been bad, gone. but mispositioned by Magic. Now defending the center. And this is how Minmin has to play this matchup. Just keep your spacing, keep your distance. Force Joker to waste the entirety of the Arsene meter just getting in on you. Big side B comes through. Let's see if Arsenic gets something out of it. The guns too, the jab lock, 
into the downer up smash. Big damage. Not quite a KO, but it's the start of something beautiful. The juggle's on. Almost gets that air dodge, too. With the amount of meter left in the Arsene, that was about all that Arsenic could hope for. So much damage built up, and you can see that's still a holdover from game number one. Magic still has, or sorry, Arsenic still has Magic's number when it comes to those panic yeah. air dodges and panic rolls. For sure. Arsenic now trying to get back to the stage. Magic putting on pressure with that Megawatt, but that is going to make them a little bit slower here. Yeah, those Megawatt Nairs, it is by far Min Min's slowest aerial option. Okay, switches back to the Ram Ram instead. Kind of goes for the flexibility, and these quick switches, uh, pretty hard to keep up with. Arsenic is doing a great job respecting either of the oh. of the arms here. Didn't respect that one enough, though, just sprinted straight into it. And clanking out the Aegon, that's one of the things that makes this matchup a little bit more difficult. Pops her up this time, catches her in the corner, but okay, just doesn't want to uh, to risk it all for the biscuit. And these side no way. B's not quite killing, but it's getting scarily close. Another Eight. arm comes out. Ram Ram two frame. Almost misses. 200%. Oh, Arsene's no more Arsen. This is huge for magic. Let's see. There's that Megawatt in there that we were talking about. A little slower, but definitely worth it. Arsenic. Tries to get offstage pressure here, doesn't find much. Any tiny bit of extra credit that Magic can build up here is a massive boon. It forces Joker to continuously yeah. run into you. 6.3%, you know, it's not much, but it's still nothing to sneeze at. Magic just trying to scrap here, but maybe a little too desperately. We see Magic uh, defend from all these scraps very well. Ooh. Oh. That laser would have been the end of it all. Instead, it brings Arsene out to play. But Arsene getting two caught frame. up. Finally, finally hits. Two frame. Rinse and repeat. That's the second one. Can we get a third? He, oh, he tethers back. And oh! he gets up into it. And Magic takes game number two. What a, what a sequence to end it off with. Finds the two frame, finds another one, realizes that Arsene is going to go offline. So he cannot two frame the, the tether, right? Very good awareness, sets up the Megawatt to get the Ledge Trap instead. Just a step ahead this time was Magic. And uh, the Proto Strat working out, Lucina, Lucina Min Min. Yeah, straight into the Min Min. And a, a beautifully played game with her, just a, uh, an unbreakable, unshakable wall yep. put up by Magic. No switch out coming from Arsenic. He's gonna stick to the, to the Joker through thick and thin. Just so <laughs> fragile. I didn't and that might just be me, but I feel like Joker does very decently into Min Min. But it's that fragility, right? Like, once Arsene is on, your recovery becomes really, really scary. And just in neutral, it feels like you're so reactive to Min Min, which Joker always is. But being that against a character like Min Min, it just leaves you so vulnerable. My honest opinion is that, like, I hate this matchup a lot more than, like, it, the, the toughness of it warrants. That's fair. I think it's, like, 60-40 Min Min favored. Yeah. But very fair. winnable for Joker if he is is on top of it, on top of the game plan. Not the letting Min Min too. get away. Yeah, especially yeah. edge guarding is, like, the, the key to this matchup, which is actually something that we haven't seen Arsenic do yet. Yeah. Very far, uh, very few and far in between are the edge guards. Right now, Arsenic... Has the has the arson on deck, but not enough damage to really make great use of it, unless he finds the entire sequence on arson itself, which so far is going pretty well for them. Yeah, but the early air dodge not punished as deeply as it could have been. Arsenic oh. not fully oh. shocking, gets no dare, but gets the up smash anyway, and it's just the last hit of fair. But it is plenty enough as Arsen says goodbye. He's done his job. Stock one goes to arsenic. Now he just needs to build up as much of a lead as possible. See how that lead's gonna be building so far. Arsenic not even getting back to the stage. That roll is not gonna work out against Min Min. Megawatt's there, gets dodged, but the dragon to pick it back up. Ooh, spot dodges straight through the grab, but Arsenic still keeping up the pressure. Now gonna be able to shark underneath Min Min. She's got no good way to get back down except for just continuously throwing those nares oh, out. That Ooh. nair just scooping Min Min up from over the platform. And the extra the extra credit is coming in right here, right now. 93 already and counting. Arsenic is looking like a whole nother player here. 
These uh, uppies to Shark underneath Min Min are, like, like you said, <gasps> completely different character, completely different player. Arsenic has come alive after dropping that game number two. Might even be cooking up a three stock. We were talking about the offstage play last, and uh, there it is, comes out. That's what you gotta do. In a huge way, exactly. It's what you have to do against Min Min. And look at that, runs up, shields the up smash, is aware enough to get a full punish with the fourth smash as well. When a Joker is hitting F Smash in your face, oh, yeah. you know he's feeling confident. You know he's feeling himself. Gonna survive. Not That's the second it. one, though. Mm -hmm. Two stocks left to play with. Not undoable. Not undoable. But Magic's at gonna all. have to work real hard. Magic's working on it. Has to get off first. Get up attack. Nice. Good awareness. And Arsenic just finding hit after hit. Just penetrating Magic Zone every single time. Looks for that offstage pressure once more. Doesn't find it. The reversal is looking a little rough here, but it's a double reversal. Now Arsenic's in control. Not quite deep enough to get that back oh, air, but it's okay. more than enough to get that F smash. Arsenic closing out game number three while barely breaking a sweat. Barely. Yeah, that was, like you said, he was working on a three sock. Yeah. Essentially, Magic uh, finds a single hit there to, to, to get that KO, but not much more. And that's Arsenic moving on in a very, very solid manner. Yeah, incredibly well played. Great adaptation. We were talking yep. about it back here of like, that matchup's not amazing for either character. Mm -hmm. It can go either way. Joker really needs to edge guard to make it happen. And then, like, as we said it, Joker starts edge guarding and it goes like that. So well, yeah. For sure, and, and and like you said, on paper, this matchup is not fun for Joker, right? It's, he just does not have the rushdown to get in Min Min's face. And, and let's be fair, most characters don't have the rush down to get in Min Min's face. Um, you have to play a little bit more vertically. And, and that vertical play, Joker can do that, but it tends